Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, being entangled. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that wore it entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. 2 Timothy 2, 3 through 4. Are you entangled? The Webster Dictionary defines entangled as to be interwoven, wrapped, or twisted together in such a manner that you are not easily loosed. And interestingly, the word entangled is just a few letters short of the word enslaved. Jesus had a mission and his mission was to redeem man who was in prison under the bondage of the devil. Now ever since that time on Calvary where he redeemed man through his blood, it has been the enemy's mission to bring us back into bondage. Now, as the people of God, we are called to be different. We are called to be consecrated. We are encouraged to love not the world, neither the things that be in the world. And it is these very same things that the enemy uses to captivate the minds of God's people to bring us back into bondage. Satan tried these very same tactics with Jesus. If you notice, after Jesus finished fasting, he came and he tempted him with the lust of the flesh. Well, that didn't work. He tried the pride of life. And still, when that didn't work, he tried to use fame and riches. There are many persons today who indulge in things that gives spirits permission to rule in their hearts and in their minds. It comes through some of the music we listen to, both gospel and secular. It comes through even the very movies that we watch. A lot of these mediums, we are not aware that they are persons who pray to Baphomet and pray to Moloch and send these things out to you. This is why after watching and listening to some of these things, many of us start to become possessed with the spirit of gossip. We find ourselves now struggling with pride, find ourselves struggling with unforgiveness making immoral decisions. We have to be careful of the things we get tangled with. Solomon knew the laws of God. He was the wisest man that had ever lived. However, he entangled himself with women who God told him not to. And sadly, these very same women turned Solomon's heart from the true and living God. Some of us are so entangled. Something that was wrong 10 years ago is no longer wrong today. Many of us are so caught up with money that we will sell our very souls in order to gain a dime. Many of us are so caught up with fame. And the thing about fame is, there are those who fame only lasts for 10 or 15 minutes. But then because we are so captivated, we try to recreate that moment that got us famous and we keep trying to do stuff in order to gain people's attention. Paul talking to Timothy was encouraging him that no man that is a soldier would entangle himself with the affairs of this life. If we see a police or a soldier, we can identify them, one, because of how they're dressed. The people of God are called to hold a higher moral standard. Therefore, we cannot be like the world because the world is looking to us. Some of us are so involved in so many different things that we fail to realize that they are drawing us further and further away from God. This is why many of us can't pray. This is why many of us can't read the word. This is why so many of us are so easy to give up because we have been entangled with the web of the enemy. Be careful of the friends you keep. Be careful of the arguments that you're a part of. As a Christian, you're called to stand out. You're called to stand up. You're called to be a city set upon a hill. Be not concerned if you're criticized and told that you're acting holier than everybody else. You have to remind them, as Paul said, that you have to do all that you have to in order to please him who had called you to be a good soldier. Finally, my virgin, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. He that the sun sets free is free indeed. The quote of the day, be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.